What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and with patch 4.11 there were a few major changes that I believe are absolutely phenomenal, and here's why. Let's get started. Now, there are three main changes in this patch that I expect to have a fairly significant impact on the metagame. The changes to bounty rewards, turrets, and experience. Starting with the gold changes. Early kills before 4 minutes now scale from 75% instead of 60%, while first blood kills are now unaffected by the 4 minute early game reduction, and in addition, killstreak gold now racks up a lot slower, taking a full 5 kills instead of 4 to hit that 500 gold bounty. Overall, these changes lead into a much more kill focused metagame. Early kills are much more beneficial to help you snowball, especially first blood of course, while in addition, the killstreak change was a very much needed nerf to the anti snowballing mechanic of kills. Because due to the way gold downscales on death streaks, you could go 4-0 in lane from solo kills, and that gets you 971 gold, whereas the opponent's jungler could then gank you, kill you with the laner getting an assist, and then they get a 500 gold shutdown and a 250 gold assist. So after going 4-0 in lane and killing your opponent 4 times, the difference in gold is now 221 gold only, because you died once. Now that difference after 4 kills is going to be a little bit bigger, which is quite good. This promotes going for kills quite a bit, and we should see some more aggression in LCS play, and of course in solo queue too. And overall kills are worth a solid amount more now, and aren't just something to help you get objectives. So I like that change a lot, since the punishment for the previous laning situation of going 4-0 and then dying was just way too much, and since going 4-0 in lane is so difficult, and it could be mitigated almost completely by one death, and completely mitigated by two deaths, now it's just not as easy to punish a winning lane so hard, which is good, because it makes carrying after going 4-0 or 5-0 in lane a lot easier, whereas it used to be quite easy to come back from, too easy, especially since it was such a big deficit in the first place. And of course, the first blood changes are really nice since they promote early aggression as well. League was slowly turning into this late game focused metagame, which is honestly kind of lame, since early game champions play really aggressively and have a really fun playstyle instead of just grinding it out and farming for 30 minutes until the end game. And next we have the changes to turrets, which I think are really nice too. Turrets now gain 12.5% more damage after each consecutive hit, and so they start doing the additional 25% bonus damage after just 2 hits instead of 3. In addition, turrets will select targets slightly faster. This is really just a massive buff to turrets. They didn't give us any numbers, so we don't really know how good the target selection change is, but in theory it should be pretty solid versus these tower dives that are really close, like everyone ends up flashing out or stuff like that. In addition, overall the turrets just do quite a bit more damage, especially in the early game. At an average tower dive around 12 minutes into the game, which is often where our junglers will look for dives, a turret will have an AD level of about 200, hitting champions on the first hit for 105% of that AD, and keep in mind the 30% armor penetration turrets have, the 5 tower shots the jungler could tank diving you now deal 1685 base damage, not counting the armor the jungler has, but do keep in mind the armor penetration the turrets have, instead of the old 1510 damage that it would deal instead. So that's a difference of 175 damage, which after armor and the armor penetration is probably going to be around maybe 120, 130 damage or so. That's just a rough estimate. But it's definitely significant for the early game, while not making that much of a difference late game. So early game, tower dives are much riskier, especially since turrets target faster and the damage also ramps up faster. So overall, a pretty significant buff to turrets that doesn't scale incredibly well into the late game. While it is a difference, it's not that significant late game. So tower diving early is much harder, and that makes snowballing a bit harder too, which is good, since snowballing early is now much more lucrative due to the earlier change to kill streaks. And the last change was the buff to the experience range from 1250 to 1400, which is pretty significant. To put that into context, mid lane from tower to tower is about 4000 units or so. So now it's really difficult to zone opponents out of experience, which is a good change to counter the buff to snowballing in the changes to kills, as experience was often a big part of being behind after losing lane really hard. Mid lane is now almost impossible to zone from experience, while you should also watch out as if you're pushed in lane, mid lane, and your jungler's doing race, they can leash XP from the mid laner without wanting to, so be wary of that. Anyways, overall with the changes to kills, they made snowballing much more lucrative and harder to come back from on the losing side, while the tower and experience changes they made made snowballing much harder. 
So now gaining those huge leads in lane where you're just an unstoppable force and the opponents have no chance versus you is much more difficult to get in the first place, but it's also much more lucrative since it's harder to come back from once you reach that state. I've seen some disagreement, but honestly I love these changes since they promote a more aggressive metagame while making it harder to be aggressive, which I like a lot. It increases the skill cap of the game by quite a bit, which is just awesome. Anyways, that's just about it. My name is Jeremy and that's for my video on patch 4.11. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the screen right now, or stay connected at facebook.com slash gamingcurios. And I also stream with some awesome commentary over at twitch.tv slash jeremy underscore gamingcurios, so be sure to check that out too. Drop a like and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.